Hey everyone, we're here in downtown Austin by Lady Bird Lake and we're going to be testing out the quick shot features that are available for the Mavic Air. So stick around, we're going to do that in a moment. All right, so if you just got the Mavic Air, there's a few of the quick shots that aren't included in the firmware that you get that's installed with the Mavic Air when you get it. So you have to do a firmware update. To update the Mavic Air firmware, when you log into the app, there should be a notification that tells you that it's out of date. Click on the top left corner. It'll then show this screen and you should be able to hit the button that says update firmware. While the firmware is updating, the Mavic Air will turn off and on several times and then you'll have to manually turn it off and back on once it's complete. It takes about 20-30 minutes and then you should have all six quick shot modes that, that should be included. The two that are added are the asteroid and the boomerang. In addition to the firmware update, you're also going to get the gesture mode and I'll talk about the gesture mode in another video, so make sure to check for that link at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's actually start this guy up and let's see all the different modes and what they can do. All right, let's try this thing out. All right, so there's six. There's a droney, a circle, a helix, a rocket, a boomerang, and an asteroid. So we're gonna go one by one through them and see what, and I'll show you what they do. So it looks like you can increase the distance. Let's do it to a uh, hundred meters, roughly. So right now it's locked on to me and it's, it looks like it's just backing up. It actually put a GPS pin on where I was standing and it just looks like it's backing up and getting a nice aerial shot of where I'm at and then I think it's going to zoom back into where I am. So next we're going to try the circle mode and see what that does. I have this, it should hopefully avoid trees. I have trees all the way around me. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it and make sure it, it, sensors are actually working. I'm a little nervous, but let's check this out. Let's try it out. The circle mode didn't work that well because it sensed the statue that I have the camera set up on and even though it cleared it, it was too close to stuff so it stopped, which is actually pretty awesome because uh, I'll probably not cross the drone. So that's really awesome. So I'm going to go more in the field here and then I'm going to do the same thing so you can actually see it work. So I'm actually going to walk and see if it, see it's tracking me right now. It's actually tracking me as I walk. All right, so that's the circle mode. Looks pretty awesome. Let's do the next one. It's Helix. That again, might we might have issues because of the tree, but let's try it out. I, I had to stop that one. That was, I can't see the branches very well, so. I don't know how all the sensors see the branches, so I just stopped it. I think the idea is it's just like circle mode, but it kind of spirals out. It's probably best to do when there are actually nothing around. I This is an expensive drone for us, so I don't want to break it just trying to demonstrate how something works. So maybe I'll try that one again later in an open field where I have more room. All right, so now we're going to try the rocket. Next, let's do the boomerang. Again, I'm a little bit afraid of the trees, but let's give it a shot. The 
the very last setting we're gonna do is the asteroid. I think this looks amazing and I'm really excited to check it out. The cool thing about the asteroid mode, it's that once the drone reaches its highest point, it begins taking a bunch of different pictures like a pano, and then it stitches these pictures together to give this really cool effect, which you'll see here. Alright, so that wraps up all the quick shot modes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching them. I sure did enjoy actually using them. The Mavic Air is so much fun to actually play with. If you have any questions about any of the specific functions or the modes that you saw in this video, feel free to write a comment below asking your question. We'd be happy to try and answer them. Be on the lookout for the next video for this drone, which covers the smart capture mode. Basically what that is, is you can use hand gestures or signals to the drone and it'll respond. So you can get it to start taking pictures, video, you can tell it to go farther away, come close up, take off, land. It's pretty cool. You can do it all with your hands. So we have that video coming as well. There should be a link at the end of this video for that video. And before you go, if you enjoyed this video or you like travel videos, you should think about subscribing to our channel. We greatly appreciate it and it'll let you know when we upload new videos. And I'm also gonna leave you with the little drone footage I got of Austin before the sunset. Hope you guys enjoy and we'll catch you in the next video.